In this demo of SCCM 2012 R2, I'm going to demo planning and configuring role-based administration. The first thing we're going to do is review built-in security roles and scopes. So first I'll review the default security roles and scopes, and then review the default permissions for security. So now under the administration here, I'm going to do is under security, and I'm going to take a look under security roles right here. Now this is the ones here. There are 15 built-in roles. Then I'm going to look under security scopes. Now there's two built-in scopes. All against all security objects and default, which securable objects can be associated. Under administrative users, you'll notice that I have one by default. The domain admin. When I click on this one right here, it tells me a bit about it. This tells me the account display name, etc., various types of things about this user right here. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to review the default permissions for security. So I'm going to go into security roles application admin and I'm going to click on properties for this user right here. Now under the general this des describes this role description describes what about it under administrative users tab there's no users associated with this role and you can't add any users from this property window. Now let's look at permissions. Now these are the permissions associated with this role. The next thing we're going to talk about is creating custom security roles and scopes. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new user and group for application admins and then add them to. So under Active Directory Users and Computers, I'm going to create a new user in the Users Container. So under the Users right here, I'm going to create a new user, and I'm going to call this one. London admin. Of course, I got to do is this, put this in here. London admin, good. And the password, I'm going to just say the password doesn't expire. I'm going to finish. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to create a new group on this. And this will be London application admins is this group right here. Great. And on this one, properties. I'm going to add oh, this one I created right here. Should be around here somewhere. And I'm going to add to this one, members of this one. And I'm going to add London admin to it. Let's see if I can use a shortcut. Yep, London admin to that one, good. Now I'm going to do is next, I'm going to create a custom scope for the London application admins. Okay, so administration here, security scopes there. I'm going to create a security scope. Of course, I could do it from the ribbon also. And on this one here, we're going to call this London. Okay. I'm going to go to distribution points. And on this one right here, 
I'm going to set the security scope on this. London. Add this right here. The next thing I'm going to do is create a custom collection. Device collections. I'm going to create a device collection here. And the name of this one right here, London Servers. I'm going to go all systems right here. Next, I'm going to add a rule to it. We call this one here a direct rule. System resources, and on this one, and the value one right here, I'm going to say London percentage here. System resource on here. London config. Next. Next. I'm going to close this right here. And notice that London config was added to this. And after this, I'm going to close it. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a custom security role for the application. Security, security roles, application admin. I'm going to take this one right here. I'm going to copy it right here. And I'm going to call this one application and update administrator. And under this one right here, I'm going to make some changes. So under software update group, I'm going to change all these ones to yes. So I've changed all the ones under software update group. Now I'll change the ones under software update package. As you can see for each one right here, I have a drop down box here. So now notice I've done for the software upgrade groups, all of them to yes. So software update package, all of them to yes. And this one, all of them to yes. So remember, I've copied a user right here. Now the next thing I'm going to do is with this, I'm going to add a new group of administrative users, then assign a custom role and a custom. I'm going to add a user group. I'm going to browse London application. Add the group to it. London application admins. Another one I'm going to add here. Now on this one right here, application and update administrator role. Okay. And I'm going to say is only the instance of objects that are assigned to this one. So I'm removing all of these, and I'm going to add security scope on this right here. I'm going to pick London, and add this one on here. And I'm going to add a collection, London servers, devices. This one right here. I look at there when I click on this, it'll tell you all the information about these right here. Now the users added to the London application admins group will have access only to the config manager objects associated with the London scope and resources in the London service collection. 
So now I'm going to test the permissions of the new role. So I'm going to start it using the London Application Admin account and then verify permissions. I'm going to run this as a different user right here. London Admin. Let's see if we can log in. So right here.